What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to my basic melee combat tutorial series for Unreal Engine 5. In this video we are going to be taking a look at how to do death animations and that is because we already have a hit reaction system but when the health runs out the character will get destroyed and there won't be any animation playing, it will just disappear which is a big problem for us so we, we want to play a death animation we want to keep the character dead on the ground for a while but then we want to destroy them i'm not going to be focusing on vfx or anything just the death animation and then the character just vanishes but it's very useful so you want to learn that as well so if you want full access to the series then check out my patreon i already have all five videos up there so if you want to learn quickly and without any ads or anything then go check out my patreon you're gonna love it and also if you find this video useful do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and let us get started with the death animation tutorial so we have the arpg warrior pack you can use any animations that you want i already said that i provide only free animations but this is not free and it's very cheap so check it out it's not really like the best pack but it's useful for uh learning stuff so anyway uh, we're gonna search for death and you can see that we have a few death animations so we have this one we have this one we have that one oh it's just two of them okay so we have two animations one that dies from the front and one that dies from the back though i'm not going to be setting up um the uh, system for whether the attacker is from behind or from the front you, we're just gonna play both of them uh, randomly because you know that's too much i know i love you guys so much and i would like teach you anything but right now for this basic series this is fine so we're gonna retarget those same as we did in the first three videos and you can see we have them then i'm gonna make animation montages out of them and now we can focus on doing the blueprints. So we have this hit react custom event. We can either continue here or we can create a separate custom event for dying. So we're just gonna add custom event and I'm just gonna call it death. You can call it whatever you want. You're probably gonna be more organized. I'm gonna copy the play montage and then montage to play we're going to do the same thing so it's a select node and the index is going to be a random integer in range the range is going to be zero and one since we only have two animations for zero we're going to play the first death animation oops i i messed up death one is for zero death two is for one and that's fine on and everything but if we actually place it it's gonna die more than once so for example let's destroy uh, remove destroy actor and then if that's true we're gonna death so if it's less than or equal to zero the health we're gonna death and that's good and all but if you actually go there and give it a try three four you can see it's a big problem so first thing we want to do is we want to um like the animation the animation will end and it will get back up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop the part where they're on the ground so after the character hits the ground and dies like this we want to place a copy of it here so we're just gonna make the window smaller and then we're gonna drag in the animation again and now we have two versions of the animation in order to make it loop we want to make another um, montage section so you're just going to place it right where the first version ends you're going to right click over here new montage section and i'm going to call it loop and this loop part you just hit there and you click on loop and now this section is going to be what's looping after this section ends so now the start time let's just make it 0 0.95 and then hit play you will see that the character will forever be there it will loop forever so now uh let's do the second animation which is death 2 we're just gonna make it smaller drag in another one 
and then over here uh, let's just make the new section first add new montage section call it loop there we go and the end time copy it paste it as the start time and also montage sections loop is going to be loop there we go and now it will stay dead so if we give it a try it will also have a small problem which is that if the character dies and then you attack them again they will also like keep dying like they will get up and die again which is a big problem you only you only want to do this once so now when the enemy dies and then you hit them again they will stand up the way to fix that is to just go and create a another variable and call it dead and when we die we're gonna set that to be true but before that we also want to check if death is false uh, dead is false so get dead branch and check if it's false what you can do is you can actually um, get this one also and check it inside of here so that it's a little bit cleaner so if that is false we're also going to get this one and just going to do this like this. Paste it here. So if the health is less than or equal to zero, if that is true, then we're going to check if we are already dead. And if that is false, we're going to set that to be true. And then we're going to play the death animation. And after it's completed, we're going to delay. And the delay is going to be like uh, five seconds. Then we're going to destroy actor. So now if you compile, hit play and go kill the enemy. You can see that we have it. We still have the problem. So our main problem is that when the character dies, the, the they won't really play this again, they won't die again. But the problem is that when, like they can still hit react, which will cause them to stand up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the branch for if we are dead. We're gonna paste our dead branch over here. We're gonna drag out of here and um, we're going to drag this away and then place it over here. And we check this before we check if we are getting hit, because if you do them together, it's still going to be troublesome. So if you use and boolean with getting hit, you know, usually when it's when the result is supposed to be false, it will it will still cause problems. So this is what you want to do and then hit compile. And uh, you can actually like organize these so like comment um hit react and then this one we're gonna comment death and this death function or custom events you can actually use it for many things not really just hit reactions so also we want to remove the print string which is like it's not really necessary so if you hit x and play kill the character you cannot really kill them again, which is great. And they will stay dead there forever. However, uh, we want to destroy the actor, as we said before. Go back to the blueprint, check the death thing. You can see uncompleted destroy actor. It didn't happen. So we also want to, like, let's just not, let's just paste, put it on the right when the play montage happens we're gonna delay for a bit and then we're gonna destroy the actor or I don't get why uncompleted didn't happen so I'm just gonna connect it with uninterrupted again and see what since the thing loops it's not really gonna be completed ever or interrupted so what you want to do is you want to make a delay out of when it as soon as it happens so the delay is gonna be five seconds and the play rate, I just want to keep it one. Actually, let's make the delay 7.5 seconds and then destroy actor. So 
you know, now it doesn't get stuck in the loop forever. It's going to be destroying the character 7.5 seconds after they die. So here's four attacks and then the character dies. And then we wait seven seconds. And they get destroyed, which is perfect. So I think that wraps it up. And we actually have the melee combat system for the player character um, done. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to be adding a weapon in the next video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Special thanks to my Patreon. And um, if you want full access to the series, again, check out my Patreon. It's entirely going to be there before I put it on YouTube. I want you guys to check out my game in the workplace of madness and wishlist it. If you are watching this before it comes out, buy it if it already came out by the time you were watching this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, have a great day, and bye.